Welcome, Pioneers, to a new book review video! Just like before, I will provide some information about the author and the motivation behind their newly published book, as well as review my thoughts of the book as an educator, and provide some ideas for using this book as a child and adult. If you have any book suggestions for future book reviews, please send me an email, contact at readingpioneers.com, so we can find out what the next book review video is going to be. Also, it would really support this channel if you like or even dislike my reviews and share this with your friends to get their thoughts too. Finally, I hope you subscribe to stay updated with all reading-related videos being published every week. With that out of the way, let's get into the review of Worry Shy, a story to help children better understand and manage social anxiety by Corbett Schwamm. Corbett is a father of two young girls. He has gone through a life of anxiety and worry and wanted to share his experiences with his daughters who have been experiencing anxiety too. With his creative writing and parenting skills, he wrote his first children's book, Worry Thoughts, to help them and many more children deal with worry and anxious thoughts that may dance around in their minds. He followed this up with Worry Habits, a book about OCD and helping children learn to cope with their fears and anxiety. This new book that just released today is dedicated to helping young children with social anxiety and meeting people. Corbett's books have exciting rhymes and illustrations that have helped portray his life experiences through the pages of his books, so children can understand and relate with. You can find all three of these books on CorbettSchwamm.com and purchase a copy of it as either a paperback or a Kindle ebook. Then, after you read it, come back and see if you agree with my review. There were a lot of things I really liked about Worry Shy as an adult, and hope more books can include these when teaching and educating youth. The part I'm talking about is the introduction of Little C's Doctor. Usually, doctors are seen helping children with physical issues such as broken bones, illnesses, or tooth care. This book introduces a doctor that actually holds a conversation with Little C, instructing him, comforting him, and making him feel not alone. This section of the book was very well thought out and written and is the top highlight in my opinion. The story is very linear, which is great for young readers, and I can't believe Corbett was able to make rhymes on each page and each sentence. Another part of the book I appreciated was the section that includes all the various techniques Little C can do to help ease his social anxiety. From my experience, there are always multiple ways to handle situations, and I loved how this book illustrated and explained almost a dozen ways to feel more at play in social surroundings. Overthinking is a problem many people face, and I think it was beautifully exemplified at the beginning of the book. As I said, the story is very linear, and it takes us through the mind of Little C's doubts, advice from his mother and doctor, and the progression of overcoming his social anxiety one step at a time. Honestly, I love reading this book and have seen growth from Corbett as an author. One thing I personally would have liked to see as the story progressed was having little bits of color added page by page to kind of visually show the growth Little C was going through as he learned new techniques and ways to build bravery and overcome some of his social anxiety. This way, the last page would be in full color and represent the journey the reader and Little C took from the first page, which was monochrome. Another touch I think that could help readers is having a page at the end of the story that lists the key techniques and tips for children. If I were to teach this book, I would have made a poster or visual representation of my favorite techniques or quotes, such as celebrating wins, even the small ones, or practice socializing with friends or family. Mm -hmm. 
I recommend this book for parents to read to their children. I think the guidance is essential for children who have social anxiety, so I don't think this book should be read alone by children. Whether you're a parent, teacher, or have any other profession, adults must be supportive with children when reading this book and provide some of their own experiences, suggestions, and situations to help ease children facing this form of anxiety. Talk with the child about which techniques seem the most exciting or fun to try. Role play with your children to show the power of the techniques and the progress it creates. There are a lot of applications with a book like this that can be helpful in a learning environment as well. I see this as a must-read book for young children entering school or attending their first day of school. Even students who feel apprehensive to reading in class, they can relate to the illustrations and see that they're not alone when it comes to their doubts and thoughts. Parents can then have a healthy talk with their child at home about the content of the book and to see if there's anything they can do to help ease the child's worries. I said this in my previous review of Worry Thoughts, Corbett Schwamm's first published children's book, but I really think it's special to have a book dedicated to anxiety and focusing on thoughts, the mind, and mental health. As I continue to read Corbett's books, I see that anxiety comes in different forms, and they can be detrimental to a child's growth and development. So, I applaud the creation of this book, and hope you all can check it out either on Corbett's website or on Amazon to see other reviews of this fantastic story about social anxiety. This is going to be the end of my book review of Corbett Schwamm's Worry Shy. I'd love to know what you thought about this book or the review, so feel free to leave your messages in the comments section of my community post. And again, visit CorbettSchwamm.com to learn more about this author and Worry Shy so you can get a copy for yourself and a loved one. Thanks for joining me today, and until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye!